Mm. It's working. Today I am going to paint some cocktail glasses. Um, not going to make the cocktails that go in the cocktail glasses yet. I'm just going to paint them. And um, if you want to also do, let me just move some colored pencils out of the way. If you also want to do um, something like this, I recommend um, getting some Mod Podge or whatever. Um, because it looks like that is a really great thing to paint over the glasses after you um, after you paint them, just to make sure they set and they're safe for people to use. So I will be doing that. The other thing you can do is bake them in some circumstances. You have to look at the specific paint and see what it says, but usually you can do that. And then also, you might just be able to have them sit, apparently, for like 21 days and um, do it that way. So, so let me just move some stuff out of the way. Okay, so I got the paint. Um, and I'm just using um, this uh, plaid. It's just plaid acrylic paint. Um, that uh, was recommended for this type of, like I'll show it to you, but it's just like enamel glass paint. But that's because I am painting glass. We're gonna do the first one. Um, for this episode. I don't think I'll do all four today. I think I'll just do one for each episode uh, because I think that will be more enjoyable for you guys, like less exhausting than watching me do like four. And you know, then when I do the, the video with the artist cocktails, I think, you know, like next week I'll do probably a Van Gogh video where I make cocktails inspired by his paintings and you know make one in the glass that I painted for you guys today and so this week yeah will be Van Gogh I think the next one will be Monet um then I'm hoping to do a Picasso one and a um a uh Pollock Jackson Pollock one. So, but today we're gonna do this Van Gogh one. Now, I'm probably going to try and stay away from the um, from the edge here because I don't want like the paint to be probably that far up. Um, you know what, actually I'm gonna put this here because the thing is this palette is glass as well and I don't want it to like scratch that. Anyway, if we think about Van Gogh um, and sort of what Starry Night looks like, um, but later, let me pull it up. But um, it's very pretty and swirly and has like all kinds of cool, you know, stuff going on. And I'd really love to incorporate some gold, I think, um, in there with the yellow and stuff so that it's. Um, really pretty, but I might use silver instead actually because one of the cocktails I'll be making based on Van Gogh is um, has like really cool element of silver But it really doesn't matter any metallic should work, but Let's just look up Starry night So this is a really good picture of it so you can kind of see how it is, how it looks. It's just really pretty, swirly, um, you know, lovely, but you can see like the brush strokes and um, it's just got, like the stars are really big and there's like 
really cool shapes and stuff. So what I'm kind of thinking will be So I'm gonna take some black, um, take some blue, try not to get too much black in the blue, and just make like a really, really, really pretty dark blue color, hopefully. Again, have never used these paints, don't actually know um, if they, mix that well, you know, how easy they are to use, but so far they seem pretty nice, so we'll see. And hopefully I'm also not painting my palette, because these are glass paints, but anyway. I'm gonna start by putting down this really nice, like, dark blue color. And I'm not gonna worry too much about the, uh, sorry, brush strokes showing, because, you know, as you probably saw with the painting, um, Van Gogh wasn't really too concerned about brush strokes showing and stuff, so I feel like we're safe to kind of have fun with this. And, you know, if it's a little messy, who freaking cares, right? It's for fun, it's for you. I will say it's a little more No, that actually wasn't my cat, so I don't know what that was. Probably a ghost or something. Okay. Wow, this is like really pretty, actually. Um, I did have to kind of go over it again with another layer to get it to be really dark. And as you can see, I didn't totally get everything, so let's keep doing that. I'm sort of just playing around right now with blue and black, not really making any color in particular, just trying to kind of get stuff down and, and just have like a blue-black layer down, and that's all I'm doing, so, but it's really pretty and pretty fun, so I'm pretty happy with it so far, but you might want to look around and see where there are gaps and stuff, because that's kind of what I'm trying to do is like see if there's any areas that I didn't get as well. Although again, it really doesn't matter that much. It's your glass, so you do what you want. But I'm pretty happy with that. So I think probably have to let it dry for a few seconds and not really sure. But probably should let it dry. So I'm gonna wash my brush off and turn the water black. I will say the paint smells interesting. Again, though, it might just be that acrylic paint has a stronger smell that I'm not um, as accustomed to because I don't use it. So I'm more of a watercolor colored pencil person. Oh, and let me know if there's any like artists you really want to see or, you know, have me make stuff for like glasses or whatever because um, I'm gonna, I just tried to find ones that I thought would make really pretty glasses but I'm pretty much open to like anything people want because I am just had this idea. It's not like it's, you know, something I've seen before. I'd really... I uh, love to start like a paint and sip company though that um, where you you paint cocktail glasses and that's what you paint and then you make like a cocktail to go inside it or something. I think that would be really fun but um sort of testing it out on this channel to see 
if it works. Now, if this doesn't dry very quickly, I do have one of those like art dryer things, so I could always try to use that. But it does appear like it's drying relatively fast. So let me see if it says anything though. Water based, non toxic indoor, outdoor, shake well, clean glass. Oh, oops. Clean glass and ceramic surfaces with alcohol first. Let dry one hour between coats. One hour? Glass and glaze ceramics are top rack, dishwasher, sequin cure. Two cure. Air dry for one hour. Place in cool oven and heat to 350 and bake for 30 minutes. Allow to cool an oven to room temperature and remove. Okay, so that is an option you can and I might do that actually you can put it in the oven um, for uh, Heat to 350 put it in the oven when it's cool heat it to 350 bake for 30 minutes allow to cool in oven to room temperature and remove so just so you guys know that is something you can do apparently with this is that um well, this particular paint that you could also cure it that way. I just want to see something. Um, like I'm a little scared about curing these um, cocktail glasses, but I guess it's probably fine. I just don't know if it'll like explode or something. Hand washing warm water. Handmade glassware. I mean, any glass should be safe, right? I think. In the oven. But I'm not entirely sure. Anyway. Listen, we don't have an hour to wait for this to dry between coats. So I'm just... And honestly, I don't really care because... Again, it doesn't seem like... Van Gogh was so terribly obsessed with, like... Perfection. So, I'm just going to put start putting some swirls on and guess what if we pull some paint off no big deal but I'm just gonna put some swirls on you don't have to be perfect because you know he didn't do it perfectly he just kind of had fun with it and like let the under color show through and so I don't know if you guys can actually see what I'm doing but I'm just having fun um, putting some blue swirls on and I'm actually going to I think mix some of the white with the blue to get like a really pretty light blue color yeah beautiful and then swirl that in and um, you know swirl that over here and just like really have fun with this because what is art if not fun? So at least that's how I feel. Art should be fun. Just like I feel about cocktail making basically. It's the same principles, you know. Just have fun with it. Okay, so it's starting to actually kind of almost look like his. I mean, <laughs> probably not as nice obviously, but I'm going to put some white in. And just like swirl it. Um, but also, like I said, it is a bit harder on a glass than it is on, I'm sure, on a canvas. But I really like what's happening here. It's getting sort of funky looking, swirly, and like really, really pretty. So, just, uh, you know, having fun. I'm also going to put some um, white like these are the stars basically so I'm gonna put some of these on um, you know varying sizes not worry too much about them being like neat or whatever because again Van Gogh apparently didn't care so that was kind of the whole point right is to have fun express yourself but not worries you much about um, being perfect, so.
I'm going to take some silver and sort of put that in the more like in the more bluey parts and like maybe swirl that around a little bit or like make little things with that. Okay, and I think it'd be really fun to actually put some silver down here, you know? I know some of you are like, why are you ruining this glass? That was pretty, but I'm having fun and I think this is a really fun thing to do because it's, it's kind of cool. It's like you created this, you know, this is yours. You did this. And then when you make a cocktail in it, you can, you could even give them away as gifts. Like, you know, you could paint them and then give them away to people. I'm trying to think what else I want to add to this or if I want to add anything. Um, because honestly, I kind of like it the way it is and I feel like it sort of evokes, you know, the swirly craziness of Starry Night, uh, chaotic feeling. So yeah, I don't really know what else I want to do for that. But please be sure to tune in again when I do more of these. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a Monet one probably next week. I'll be doing, oops, I'll be doing um, a Picasso one where I'm gonna try out the cubism. Um, basically going to put tape on the glass and see if we can't get some really cool shapes going on. Um, I'm also going to do, uh, <laughs> this one will be interesting. I'm gonna drip and do Jackson Pollock because um, I think that would be really fun too. And then once I finish these, um, each glass, I will do a, uh, sh uh, episode, which is just cocktails inspired by whichever artist. So next week I will be making cocktails inspired by Vincent van Gogh. Um, and like I could have done a sunflower one and maybe I will, but I think the point is to have fun and, and, you know, hopefully teach you guys some art stuff and maybe start a new business. We'll see. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this was cool. I hope it was fun. <coughs> Excuse me. fun for you. I'm going <coughs> to sneeze. Okay. I hope this was fun or interesting. Um, I'm going to figure out if I can bake this now because I want it to, well, it has to sit for an hour, but once it sits, I'm gonna figure out if I can actually bake this, these glasses so that you guys know whether you can bake these glasses too because that would probably be helpful. So anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, yeah, cheers.